Hi guys, this is Yukendra, and today I'll be discussing about VLOOKUP in Excel. VLOOKUP is an Excel function that is used to look for data in a table. VLOOKUP is known to be the easiest way to find values in a table which has a significant number of rows. The idea to sit and go through each and every row and column is a tedious task. This is where VLOOKUP comes in handy. In this video, we will look at the syntax of VLOOKUP function and how VLOOKUP can be used to perform various operations like exact matches, approximate matches, wildcard matching using a small dataset. For this video, I'll be using Google Sheets instead of Microsoft Excel just because Google Sheets is free and easy to collaborate with. And keep in mind that whatever formulas that are available in Excel are available in Sheets as well. Let us now go ahead with a demo. Now let us look at the definition and the syntax of VLOOKUP function. The V in the VLOOKUP function stands for vertical and it is used to look for a search for values in a table that is organized vertically. Let us look at the syntax of the VLOOKUP function. Always remember that a formula in Excel or Sheets starts with an equal to sign and the function name. Now, if you click on the help icon, you get the arguments which are supported by the VLOOKUP function. So there's search key, range, index, and is sorted. Is sorted can be also known as search options, which have two options that is approximate and exact match. So the search key is the value which we want to search for. Range is the range to consider for that particular search. Index is the column index of a value to be returned. And the first column in the range is always numbered as one and so on. The is sorted argument is optional and it has two values, either true or false. When it is true, it is approximate matching. And when it is false, it is exact matching. We'll see more of that in the later part of this video. Now let us perform some operations, including VLOOKUP functions. So this is the data set that we're going to be using. It is the HR data which consists of 10 employees and their names, gender, position, salary and the tax percentage which we'll be using it later in this video. The 2019 day offs and the number of days off in uh, 2020 by each employee. And there is the tax lab as well for each salary. So for 100,000 there's 5% tax. And for 110,000, there's 5.50% tax and so on. Now, if we want to look for the employee ID 1905 and this table, we can do that using the VLOOKUP function. So let's say if we want to look for the position of the employee ID 1905 and this table, we can do that using the VLOOKUP function and the, it looks something like this. So the VLOOKUP function. and select the value that you want to search for. So here the value is 1905 that we can select over here. And the range now is from here till the end of this table because you want to search or you can take it till position also, but let's just take it till the end of this table. That's A2 to I11 and then the column index. So the value of the index is one two, three, four, five. So the position column is the fifth index of this whole table or the range. So let's put it as five there. Now you can see that the value is already given over here. Now, since you want the exact match, we'll put it as false and close the bracket. So the value which we get over here is senior product technician. Let, let us check if this value is correct over here. So 1905, the position is senior technician. So that's correct. And now let us see how it works for the name value. So let us search for uh, Jessica's position using the name. And the same formula is used over here as well. So that's VLOOKUP. And the value that you want to search for is this and the range you want to search for is let's take from the starting itself 
till the end of this table and the column name is one, two, three, four, five, like earlier. And now false because we want to look at the exact match. Oh, what is this? It says did not find value Jessica in the VLOOKUP evaluation. Now that is because the column which we are searching for is the second column and the range which we have selected is like you can see over here, the range we have selected is whole of the table. So always remember that the VLOOKUP function looks for values towards the right of the selected column. So any range which is selected towards the left of the selected column will not be available in the VLOOKUP function. So let's change that to B2 now because that is the column which we've selected. And now the position changes to four because from B2, I mean the from, from B column, the position is has the index value of four. So that's one, two, three, four. Now, as you can see, we got the value as area sales manager. Let us check if this is the right answer from here. So Jessica is the first name. So that's here and then area sales manager. So that is right. And now always remember that the VLOOKUP function is case insensitive. So if you give caps over here, that will work good as well. So let us check that once. It doesn't change. So that conveys that the VLOOKUP function is case insensitive. Many people don't know this, but yeah. Now another way we can use VLOOKUP function is to find the first occurring value of a table. So let's say here we can see that there are two Michaels in the first name. Always remember that the VLOOKUP function always gives the first occurrence of that value. So let's see if this works out fine. Now, if we want to get the salary of the first Michael, that is Michael Riordan. So the salary is around 123,500. So let's check that now. So the VLOOKUP function will look like this of uh, the value which we want to select is this and then this and the range which we want to look at is from here like we already discussed earlier here till salary maybe. So the position is position or the index column index is one, two, three, four, five. And since we want the exact match, it is taken as false. So here you can see that the salary is 123,500 like we discussed earlier. Now we can look at the exact match, which we've already discussed earlier. So if you want to, you know, get the employee ID of, uh, say 1908, which is Michael. So if you want to get this first name of that particular person, we can do that using the VLOOKUP function only. So that's VLOOKUP. And selected value is this C15 and the range is from starting since the first column is 1908 till you can take it since we have till salary, let us take it till salary. Then the position of the first name is the second column. So that second column, as you can see, we already have Michael over here and that's false now. Now using the first name, we can find the last name as well. And keep in mind that it gives you the value of the first occurrence of Michael. So here it will be reordered. So we don't want that now. So let's take the Employee ID as a search value itself. So last name will be same we look up function of the search value is 1908. And then the range is from here till here. And the column name we want is three. So that's A, B, C, one, two, three. And now we have Albert. So that's correct. We'll cancel this because it's not needed right now. 
So here we have Michael and Albert using the employee ID as the exact match which we want to perform. Now coming to the approximate matching using VLOOKUP. Here we have uh, salaries and the tax labs for each salary. So here we have 100,000 and the tax lab for 100,000 is 5% and for 110,000 it's 5.50%. Now let us populate this tax percent uh, column using these values. Now here we can see that this value is not present over here and let us see how we look up approximates this tax lab for this particular value. So here the VLOOKUP function will look something like this. We look up and the value which you want to look up for is this value and the range will be here till here. So that's L2 to N7 and the column which you want to populate over here is the tax percentage which is 1 and 2 and since we are looking for approximate values the argument over here will be true. So here we can see that the tax percentage for 100,000 is 5%. Let us use fill handle to you know fill uh, these values as well. Oh, what is this? So now here we can see that some values over here are not available in the VLOOKUP function. So to solve this, instead of using normal cell reference, we'll use the absolute cell reference for this range. So that will be using the dollar sign over here. Now let us uh, do this first. Let us change this formula to absolute cell reference. So that will be dollar L dollar two dollar M dollar seven. And now let us check if this works out fine. Yeah, so here you can see that it turned out perfectly fine. And for 124,500, it is taken as six person because it looks up vertically down the line and it and keep in mind that these values must be sorted as in ascending order. So here it look downwards to 120,000 and goes to 130,000. Now since 124,500 is between 120,000 and 130,000, it gives the least value out of those to 124,500. So if you look over here, 120,000 has 6% tax and over here it is given 6% tax. Now we can use wildcards also to you know give a particular value or to get a particular value. So here let's take uh, Jessica for example. Here uh, there's only one Jessica in this first name column. So let us take uh, Jess instead of Jessica. And now we'll get not available because we haven't used the wildcard yet. So the wildcard function or the VLOOKUP function with a wildcard looks something like this. So that will be H18 and since Jess is in the starting of the name Jessica, so the wildcard will come after Jess. So to use a wildcard, we use the asterisk symbol with double quotes and rest all the function looks the same. So now if you press enter, you'll get the value as area sales manager. So that is correct. And now if you want to use the last letters of a first name, we can use that as well using the wildcard at the beginning of the name. So let's say if you want uh, Ika and this will change to not available again. So now this uh, wildcard comes to the beginning of the name. So that will be, that will look something like this star uh, asterisk and then and now we get the value again as area sales manager. So this is how you use a wildcard in uh, VLOOKUP function. Now coming to the multiple criterion. So in VLOOKUP we can use two values and make a helper column to look for a particular value in a table. So here since there are two Michaels we can't go about looking for the second Michael's salary using a VLOOKUP table. So let's use the helper column to do that. So the helper column should be uh, put 
before the first name and the last name. So let's insert a column over here. Insert a column towards the left and let's delete this. Okay. Now let us name this as helper column. With this we look up value we need to change it to c2 now d15 and that's that will be three and last name will be uh, four let's cancel this like earlier and now the helper column value will be equals to this space and we give spaces and this so you give and space and and this select this now so now we can see that uh, value over here is maria gonzalez so we'll use the fill under to fill the rest values so like we see over here we have uh, Michael Albert, which is in the same column. So now we can use this column to find out the salary of Michael Albert. So let's use the helper column. So we look up of since we want to look for uh, this value, it will be Michael Albert, this column. And the range which we want to search for is over here and the number of the index column, column index will be one, two, three, four, five, six. So now the value is false since we are looking for the exact value. So as you can see, Michael Albert's salary is one lakh, I mean, 150,000 USD. So that is what is given over here. So this is how we use the multiple criterion using the helper column. Combine two columns to find a value of that particular person. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you are clear with the concept of VLOOKUP function. We have looked at the various operations such as exact match, appropriate matches, multiple criterion matches and how to use wildcards to simplify your search. If you guys liked this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.